You're not Danny, are you? Are you sure we're not on the wrong sides of the desk, Doctor? I'm not sure how to say this to you, but you do sound rather mad. Jack. At your service. Where's Danny? He's here. He's asleep, but he's here. And before you try to convince me that this is some sort of psychological condition, let me assure you that I am very real. How is that possible? Do you understand quantum entanglement? I'm not familiar with it, no. It's an emerging theory in particle physics. It suggests that separation is not what we believe it to be. The idea that two particles can share characteristics without being at the same point in space-time. I assume you are not an expert in the sciences. No, I'm not. But I, I do know that Danny needs help, and I want to help him. And I think that if I can, I might be able to get him out of here. Well, that would be useful. I just need to talk to him. Unfortunately, my dear, I don't think that that would serve. Why? Danny's in trouble, Jack. He desperately needs help. And do forgive me for my immodesty. But that's what guardian angels are for, wouldn't you say? I'll consider your request. Jack. Jack. Thank you for the clothes. We still have more time. You're not doing Danny any favors. God, are you aware that these sessions are strictly voluntary? I'll be seeing you.